we will discuss how to naturally reduce bad cholesterol and increase good cholesterol. Let's first understand what bad cholesterol means. Imagine a large, busy tunnel where large trucks loaded with sticky materials move through. These sticky substances spill over and adhere to the tunnel walls. Over time, they block the path for other trucks, potentially leading to a complete halt of traffic. Similarly, bad cholesterol accumulates in our blood vessels, gradually obstructing blood flow, which can lead to heart attacks or strokes when left unchecked. On the other hand, good cholesterol acts like a clean-up crew. These specialized vehicles remove excess sticky substances from the tunnel walls and recycle them. In our bodies, they remove fats from blood vessels, clean them, and transport them back to the liver, where they are excreted from the body. In summary, when bad cholesterol is high and good cholesterol is low, the risk of heart attacks and strokes, along with other diseases, significantly increases. Omega-3 fatty acids are among the most effective natural treatments for high cholesterol. Specifically, EPA and DHA omega-3s reduce inflammation throughout the body, a key factor in the damage cholesterol causes to blood vessels. By reducing inflammation, the harmful effects of cholesterol are mitigated. Additionally, omega-3s decrease the production of fats, specifically triglycerides and VLDL, which are also considered bad cholesterol fractions, in the liver and slightly increase good cholesterol levels. An effective dosage for reducing triglycerides and improving cardiovascular health is typically between 2 to 4 grams of EPA plus DHA daily. Triglyceride levels usually decrease after one month, but long-term intake is necessary for sustained benefits. While omega-3s are beneficial, they are not as effective as statins, the first-line treatment for high cholesterol. Statins can reduce LDL levels by almost 50%, whereas omega-3s, in high doses, can decrease triglycerides by 20-30% to and sometimes up to 50%. This reduction in triglycerides indirectly lowers LDL levels, which are the main component of bad cholesterol, by around 10%. Comparatively, statins are about 500% more effective than omega-3s in treating high cholesterol. Foods rich in omega-3 include fatty fish, especially salmon and mackerel. Flaxseed also contains omega-3 in the form of ALA, however. Our bodies have a limited ability to convert ALA into DHA and EPA, making flaxseed a less effective alternative to fish oil. Another important remedy for reducing cholesterol is soluble fiber. Soluble fibers, found in oats, beans, lentils, apples, and psyllium, play a significant role in cholesterol management. These fibers bind to cholesterol in the digestive system preventing its absorption into the bloodstream and facilitating its excretion through stool. This process occurs because soluble fiber binds to bile acids in the intestine, compelling the liver to utilize existing cholesterol to produce new bile, thereby lowering cholesterol levels. Regular consumption of 5 to 10 grams of soluble fiber can reduce LDL, low-density lipoprotein, cholesterol by about 5 to 10%. For example, for medium-sized apples or 100 grams of dry oatmeal provide approximately 5 grams of soluble fiber, while 1 tablespoon of psyllium provides about 9 grams. Therefore, psyllium supplements are an effective option for significantly reducing cholesterol with soluble fiber. Additionally, prunes, dates, and other dried fruits contain about 3 grams of soluble fiber per 100 grams. The third most effective strategy for cholesterol reduction involves sterols and stanols. These substances mimic cholesterol, competing for absorption in the digestive system, which reduces the intake of actual cholesterol. Regular consumption of sterols and stanols can lower LDL cholesterol by approximately 10%. The American Heart Association recommends a daily intake of 2 grams of plant sterols. Although these compounds are found in nuts, seeds, whole grains, fruits, and vegetables, their concentrations are typically too low for significant impact, making fortified foods and supplements a more practical source. 
Exercise is the fourth effective method to manage cholesterol levels. Regular physical activity can lower LDL cholesterol by 5 to 10 percent, decrease triglycerides by up to 20 percent, and increase HDL, high-density lipoprotein, cholesterol by about 5 percent. At least 30 minutes of moderate-intensity aerobic exercise, five days a week, is beneficial. Activities such as walking, swimming, jogging, and cycling are particularly effective. The duration and intensity of exercise play crucial roles, with longer and more intense sessions offering greater benefits. Fifthly, niacin, vitamin B3, is highly effective, capable of reducing triglycerides by up to 50% and increasing HDL cholesterol by about 20%. However, achieving therapeutic effects requires high doses, approximately 1,000 to 2,000 mg daily which cannot be realistically obtained from food alone. While niacin supplementation is an option, it should be approached with caution due to potential adverse effects, especially in individuals with liver issues or diabetes. Garlic and green tea may also positively affect cholesterol levels, although research findings on their effectiveness are mixed.